welcome to GoggleCam, the internet's first first person video of how to do lab. To prepare our sample for the SEM, we want a clean micro spatula, a pair of scissors, carbon tape. This is double sided tape that is embedded with carbon black so that it conducts electricity. An SEM sample holder and of course our sample and forceps help with manipulating the sample holder. So first we want to put some adhesive on this. This is a piece of aluminum. So it conducts electricity well but it's not going to hold on to our sample. We need to use this tape to create an adhesive surface for this, our sample, this, our solid sample to stick to. So we press down the tape and then peel off white cover here. The release. Now we just need a little bit of sample. Sprinkle it onto the surface of the tape. And of course we want to make sure there's no loose material. So we don't want material to get into the SEM column operates at high vacuum. Okay, so we've knocked loose any uh, loose material and that's all we need. That's actually probably way more than we need. Now our sample is a polymer, a non-conducting polymer. In the electron beam it will experience static charges and blow apart. So to make this sample conductive we're going to coat it with a thin layer of gold. The idea is we want a layer that's so thin that it will not change the shape. To coat the sample with gold we're going to use this sputter coater. And you can see the chamber is already coated with gold, this glass, the sides of the glass. Here's our gold anode source. We're going to place our sample into the chamber known position. And there's a little map here if you have more than one sample at a time. We don't want any dust or grease on the gasket so make sure that it's clean. Then we're going to apply vacuum so we need to turn this on. Once you've placed the sample in the chamber make sure it's closed well. Turn on the power switch Turn on the argon, make sure the exhaust valve is closed. We want to have at least 200 psi, so we have just enough to keep operating. This should be at 4 psi, so don't touch that. <clears throat> so we're ready to start. We push the start button and the vacuum pump will turn on here on the floor. You can hear it working. You press the chamber together a little bit until it starts pulling vacuum. There, you can hear the pump working now. What's going to happen is the pressure is going to decrease here. We want it to go below this mark. Then what we'll do is we will refill the chamber with argon. So that's why we need the argon tank. The argon bleed valve is here, so that'll let a little bit of argon in. So the argon will come back up to this line. So that'll be the pressure, operating pressure, to create the plasma. So that's 1 times 10 to the negative 1 millibars. And this is the longest part of the process is pumping down. So you can see it's below the 1 times 10 to the negative 1 millibars. 
and it's going to continue evacuating until you hear a click when it will backfill with the argon. Once, once we get it filled with argon and start the current, we're going to apply the voltage for two minutes. You, you want to set this before you start the process. For your particular sample, I found that it's best to do two coats. So we'll repeat this process once more. The second time is usually faster because it's already evacuated. If you're ever in doubt about what you should be doing, there's a set of typewritten instructions, shorthand reminders of what to do. Okay, there's the click. So it's back filled with argon and it's still pumping down. We want to adjust the pressure filling the chamber of argon to 1 times 10 to the negative 1 millibars with this knob right here, the vent valve. And it's very sensitive, just a little touch will do you. So I'm turning it to the left to open the valve a little more. It should let a little more argon in. So it's going up a little bit. I turn it slightly and then wait. It's an analog process. Okay, it's starting the coating process, so let's turn up the voltage. See it says coat here. And we want to adjust the current to 20 milliamps. So our pressure and current are set. So we've create, we're creating a plasma, argon plasma, in the chamber. It's hard to see. With we turn off the lights, we can see the plasma UV radiation being created as the ionized particles collide with the gold anode. We're going to do this for two minutes and then the instrument will automatically turn off the voltage. Over, the instrument automatically clicked over to purge, but in our case we want to do the cycle again. Let's turn down the current and let's press pump again. The second time usually goes faster. Once we've reached the second two minutes of coating, you see that the instrument has gone to the vent mode. Turn down the current to zero. Close the vent needle valve and if it's air pressure you'll be able to open it if not you press the vent button some more you can hear letting more gas in so we can open the chamber don't force the chamber but once the vacuum is gone we can open it up so we can see now our sample is coated with gold it's like the Midas touch here so we'll place our sample into this sample holder tray, noting our tray position so we can share the box with other users. Put the chamber back together. Again, no dust or grease. Rest it closed there and turn off the power. Close the main argon tank valve and then there's still argon pressure in here so open the exhaust valve to bleed this little part and the regulator.